Hi all, welcome back to the second video of Alice Blue Algo Trading Series. In this video, we will cover how to place orders using Alice Blue API. Those who have not watched our previous videos, please watch it before watching this video. I will give the link in description and i button. Okay. If you want our option trading scalping tool, please open the account from the referral link given in description and download for free. Okay, let's get into this video. So first of all, we are moving all these parts to a class. Okay, class. Okay. okay. And creating a method, the connect, connect of self. And self dot allies. Okay. Next is self dot session. Then self dot session. Okay, let's create instance of this class. Alco equal to my algo and call the connect method. Let's run this code. Okay, success. Next time. I'm going to show you how to place orders using this algorithm. Place order. Okay. Let's move Here you can see the copies, the placing order script. Okay. Copy this. Place here. Okay. Here instead of Alice, select Alice. Here the transaction type equal to transaction type drop. We are passing all these arguments for placing order. And first one is transaction type. Okay, transaction type dot by. This is uh, open the package my in the lib side packages. POA3 Alice Blow by. This is the Alice Blow library. Okay, here. You can see the class transaction type okay this transaction type dot buy is this one okay if you want to sell instead of buy you should replace this cell okay next this self dot alice get instrument by simba this is instrument object it contains the exchange token symbol okay this is named tuple expiry any uh, all information okay we just pass this as second argument argument next third one is quantity fourth one order type market sorry order type okay here we are passing market order if you want limit order we should pass this limit okay order type dot limit next stop loss mark stop loss market and limit order also there Next product type. Okay, here we can see product type. This one intraday delivery. Everything is there. You can just copy this one if you want. Intraday. Just copy this one and replace delivery by intraday. Okay. Okay. This is price trigger price. Okay. The price is the limit price. It should be in floating format. That means point. Okay. Next trigger price. If you are placing stop loss limit or stop loss market order you should mention mention trigger price okay let's place i'll go to place order okay we got the order intraday market order in fee okay price is zero if you are replacing this market with limit, you should mention the price, right? In place on Okay. Here you can see the limit price. 
next we can see how the the margin required for this particular order okay for example the margin okay we are calculating the margin for this order there is no direct method available here in this okay so we are going to uh, send an api request to get the margin required okay so under order management we can see the basket margin class and python script is here just copy this code first okay let's move this import to Okay, here we require two fields base URL and URL. Here the URL is just this field, okay? Next base URL to introduction section. Under this, you can see the base URL. This is the base URL. Okay, then just copy that too. Okay, this is the URL. Okay, this is the, to this URL we are sending our api request to get the margin required for a particular order okay here we have we are passing nsc trading symbol in fee price these fields are for fields are not required okay price sorry seven hundred quantity one quantity for one quantity we are getting a margin product mis limit token 1594 trans time buy okay so we are going to get the uh, margin required for on placing on order of intraday order for in fee okay request to post. here instead of content type we should post authorization and this is we should replace this with Session error plus token. Here, user ID session token we should replace with our session code. Okay, normally we are we already got the session details, right? This is our session details. Here, it contains a, a dict of it is a dict format. Okay, so it contains state and session ID. We, need, we just need this session ID only. Okay, so self dots session of session ID. okay just call session ID. this self dot session okay this is the session variable of my algo instance and from that we got the just session id okay we are passing error plus session id and json format sending the request to this website you are this api url okay let's calculate the u let's calculate this margin about margin okay this is the margin required for placing one order okay let's move this change the quantity to 10 okay okay we got the margin required and this is text format so we are course, converting this into json format okay response equal to response dot json and the response of result result of margin used okay
okay we got the margin required for placing 10 quantity of in fee okay 10 quantity of in fee here you can see margin used the money needed to complete all orders in the basket so we should we must have this much money to place order okay i hope you all understand how to place orders using alice pro api if you have any any queries please let me know in comments please like share and subscribe for more such videos thank you